Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Rashonda King. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to do a double layer backdrop with these new emerald green drapes that I have. And then also I have some 50th um, marquee numbers that I'm going to put in that setup. I already did this setup. I'm going to insert a picture here so that you can see how it turned out. But I just want to do a tutorial um, for you just in case you would like to do this design. Okay, here we go. I'm using a pipe and drape kit, and you want to have these, you need these balance hangers here in order to be able to put the two poles on. I already have this metallic drape on. This is from me, Favor Mark. I will be sure to list, list and link down below. Okay, so when I did this design in the picture that I showed you, I used white velvet drapes. So I thought this vendor, I had ordered three packs of drapes from them, white, I thought they were ivory, and then I realized they were not ivory. So I sent those drapes back and I had some more ivory drapes and that's what I'm using in this setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my pole covers and then I'll gather the fabric. So on the pole, I'm gonna gather the fabric up here. So I have four ivory panels in the middle but I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna crisscross them and then grab them up here. So that way I'll know that they're even. You still have to step back and look at it and make sure it's even, but I wanna have the same connection point. So I'm gonna gather them here. So out of the four panels in the middle, I'm taking these two and then I'm gonna take them up to that spot that I showed you, okay? So I'm gonna crisscross this and I'll let you see. So here I made two together because it's gonna be kind of thick. So I just put two of these pipe cleaners together. Make sure you step back and make sure these swoops right here are even because I do notice that they're not even so I'm going to fix it just by pulling the fabric out a little. And then we're going to go on to gathering the green, the emerald green drapes. If you are doing this for a client, make sure you measure. You can take a probably a ruler from the, like a tape measure from the bottom of the floor on up to these, the swoops and you can try to see if they're even but I just kind of eyeball mine. Even when I do it for a client, I just step back and eyeball it. But if you want to be very precise, you can use some type of tape measure to see. So on to gathering my emerald. So again, I put two of them together to make it extra long. And I'm just going to gather the green in the, in the center. And then I'll be done. Just about. I'm just gonna step back and make sure everything is centered. Now to give it a premium look, I'm just gonna take some of this fabric out and just um, cause this to swag a little bit more. a little bit more and that just makes it look so so beautiful so I'll probably just keep adjusting so I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side 
to create this little drop here. So after I got this the way that I want, just make it, make sure you pull it out and just kind of give it a swag here. Like, or just have it be like a, like it needs to be kind of loose here and it just looks so, so beautiful. But I'm gonna take a napkin, a sequin napkin, and that's what I'm gonna wrap around here. And I'm gonna use cassage pins to close it. And I've shown you all this before. Please forgive my dog in the background. I have a little puppy, a little Yorkie. Hush. <laughs> Cleopatra, hush. So I just folded all my drapes under nice and neat. And this is what I have. And I'm gonna take the camera out and let you see the setup. So this is how it turned out. So like you can kind of see where I gathered the drapes a little here. So I'm just gonna take a cassage pin and close that up. So you can take a cassage pin and just kind of grab it and you can kind of pin it so that it's not as visible. And that will close it up for you. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. So here's my setup for today. I may do some more designs with this because I have a wedding coming up that's gonna be using this emerald green and ivory. So I just wanna get some practice in. So I'll probably do some more designs for you and I'll let you see the full, um, the, I'll do a full tutorial on how to do it. So please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I thank you so much for joining me today. Until I see you next time.